Level minus 8. Riddle shafts. Survival difficulty class undetermined. Mysterious properties. Unknown information. Undocumented entities. Level minus 8 is the ninth negative level of the backrooms. It was discovered on 1, 4, 1, 1, 2, 0. Oh. It is thought to be an infinite abandoned mine. Description. Level minus 8 is an infinite abandoned mine. It is similar to level minus 6 with a few differences. Level minus 8 is a dark mine that gets darker the further you go. Every 100, 100 meters, there is a split where you have 3 to 6 directions that you can go to. Each direction is labeled with a random number from 0 to 9. The floor is wet with dirty puzzles that can reach a depth of 50 meters. Pipes rarely line the bottom corners of the mine and leak water, which causes flooding. If you hear rumbling from the pipes, that means that there is a flood incoming, and you should go back. The water that will come during the flood has enough force to kill you, and has killed an explorer before. The deceased explorer was a well-known MEG explorer. The pipes appear when you're on the right track for either exiting the level, or finding hidden items, scattered in rooms of the level. Numbered paths explain more in depth. Every 100, 100 meters that you travel, you will see a split that contains multiple directions. Each path has a random number assigned to it, numbers 0 to 9. The number is written on a sign. The number does not correlate with the direction of the paths, and they seem to be randomly generated. Note of Directions Level Key You can consistently find a level key by going in the following paths. 2, 9, 5, 7, 6, 4, 9, 5, 2, 0, 1, 1, 8, 3. Safest Route the key is labeled level minus 10. 9, 3, 9, 2, 5, 4, 7, 8, 0, 4, 1, 6, 2, 0, 5, 3, 8. Possible flood. The pipes in this route are damaged. The key is labeled level minus 10. 1, 0, 7, 8, 2, 4, 6, 3, 8, 7, 4, 6, 5, 0, 1, 8, 5, 2, 9, 3. Dangerous due to an unknown entity. The key is labeled level 159 almond water. It is easy to find almond water in this level, but some rooms are absolutely filled with almond water. These are the directions for those rooms. 1, 8, 7, 4, 8, 5, 9, 5, 3, 2, 6, 9, 3, 8, 2, 0. Safest option. The room should be mostly looted now, but the almond water seems to reappear every time someone else visits. 8, 2, 0, 1, 7, 3, 5, 9, 5, 4, 9, 5, 0, 6, 1, 4, 2, 6, 8, 6. Possible flood due to the pipes being damaged. The room is half empty 1, 0, 9, 4, 2, 8, 2, 3, 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 0, 2, 4, 6, 2, 9, 6, 4, 0, 0. Dangerous due to an unknown entity. The room is mostly full, because most people do not survive the route. More items can be found in the level, but there has not been enough documented and confirmed information to confirm the other items. Unconfirmed items. Crowbar. An anonymous Reddit user reported finding a crowbar after following these directions 1, 1, 1, 1, 8, 9, 0, 2, 2, 3, 5, 4, 6, 8, 7, 6, 0. He reported that the route was dangerous due to him spotting the tall shadow during his exploration. He also reported rumbling sounds, but no flood. Memory Jar Another anonymous Reddit user reported seeing a black memory jar while exploring. The user was unable to recall the route he took. Since then, the MEG have lost all contact with the user, and he is presumed dead. There are most likely more items that can be found here, but there hasn't been enough exploration to confirm this theory. A group of four men were recently sent to explore this level, and the MEG is waiting for them to reply with their discoveries. Reported Entity Sighting A log was received from four men that were exploring the level more. They reported seeing two red eyes staring at them from the corner. They also saw a shadowy figure with long arms running to another side of the mine, at great speeds. It is thought to be a level exclusive entity. This entity can sense explorers, and will not try to kill them, but instead make them suffer from pain. Lost Log Log 7381 is an MEG log that is known because it was never found. It seemingly vanished, with no trace to what occurred. 
Recently, an NEG member recited what he remembered from the log, and we now have an approximate recreation at what occurred during the log. Exit route. Exit route displayed in the entrances and exits section. Exiting from here is quite risky, due to a possible flood as the pipes are damaged. Three explorers have reported seeing the tall shadow while looking for the exit. There is also a high chance of seeing the crying girl from here. Colonies and outposts. There are no known colonies or outposts on this level. Additional content. Entities found in this level are mostly unknown, but logs have been found that describe certain entities. This is the approximate list of entities in this level. Smilers Devmuth's has face Aline's skin stealer's tall shadow it is also possible to see a girl crying on the floor of the cave that will vanish when you come in contact with her. Photographs of the girl are impossible because the photo will censor itself, similar to the effect shown in level 12 entrances and exits. Entrances. You can enter this level by traveling very far in the mine found in level minus 7 exits. To exit you can jump in the puddles. This leads to level 7 and other method to exit is to follow the following route. 0, 1, 7, 9, 5, 4, 9, 7, 4, 2, 6, 5, 7, 2, 0, 1, 8, 3 this leads to level minus 9. Only option other than jumping in a puddle 